Hi everyone, my name is Chris Harris and I'm from alloretutors.com and in this video we're going to look at and um, calculate the pH of a weak acid and Ka is the star of the show in this case. So we're going to look at um, what, how you can do this and what Ka means uh, and we're going to do an example calculation to show you how this, um, how this happens and we're going to look at yet another assumption in this topic um, that we have to make in order to calculate this correctly. So I'm going to start with what Ka means. So Ka is effectively the um, constant that we have to use and the Ka expression we have to use when we want to work out the pH of weak acids. And the reason why we can't just assume that the concentration of your weak acids equals the concentration of H plus is because um, weak acids actually dissociate weakly. They don't ionize properly, so ionize and dissociate. So um, they don't deionize, they don't ionize fully. So what that means is that here's your acid here. So this is our, our weak acid, let's assume, which is HA. And we can say that it produces H plus and A minus. But because it doesn't dissociate that much, equilibrium lies well to the left. We don't have a large amount of these. And so we use something called a Ka expression. And this is the acid dissociation constant. So we can represent it like this, where we have H plus and A minus, which are products, divided by our reactant, which is HA. Um, and this is actually very similar to Kc, which is the equilibrium constant. So Ka just looks at the, um, the ratio between products and um, reactants. Um, so it's a very similar um, idea. Um, now, what we have to do is we have to actually make an assumption here, and we can do, and here's the, back, here's the box here that um, highlights the assumption. We can say that when HA dissociates to produce H plus and A minus, that actually the concentrations of these are going to be the same, they're equal. Uh, and because they're equal, then we can say that actually we can rewrite out our Ka expression and write it out as Ka equals H plus squared over HA. Now we can make this assumption um, when we want to work out the pH of weak acids. And um, we can't necessarily do this when we're working out the buffers, um, which there are videos on. If you look on the playlist, um, you'll see videos on buffers and you'll see that actually this assumption doesn't apply. But for the purposes of this, we can do that. Um, and the equation that comes back into this again and again is this um, pH equals minus log H plus equation. It's such an important equation um, and it, because it underlies everything to do with acids and bases, it comes back again. So we're going to look at this um, uh, example question here and work out um, the answer to it. So it says calculate the pH of 0.01 moles per dm cube of ethanoic acid, which is CH3COOH. And um, the value of Ka at this temperature um, is 1.15 times by 10 to the minus 5 moles per dm cubed. So a bit like Kc, Ka um, is altered and can be changed by temperature. So this is assuming at a fixed temperature or a certain temperature, that is the value of Ka. So the first thing we need to do is um, we need to establish what we're going to work out. And we're trying to work out pH. So if we think of an equation with pH in, we think of this equation. And from that, we need to work out H+. plus. Now, we can't um, assume that the concentration of ethanoic acid equals the concentration of H+. plus. So this is where the Ka expression comes in first. So we have to use the Ka expression to work this out. So we're going to write this expression down now. So Ka, and we're going to write down the assumption form. So Ka equals the concentration of H+, plus squared, divided by the concentration of HA. So that's our generic form. And if we had to write that in a specific form, then we can say that um, the concentration, we can say that, let's put this over here, that the Ka value um, will equal the concentration of H plus squared, which we don't know yet, because that's what we're trying to work out, H plus squared, divided by the concentration of ethanoic acid. So that's CH3COH. And so that is our specific um, example. Now, what we have to do is work out the numbers for it and substitute them into the equation. So if I bring this down here, we see that our value of Ka was 1.15 times by 10 to the minus 5. Uh, that equals the concentration of H plus squared divided by the concentration of our acid. Now, this is our weak acid, so that's going to be 0.01 moles per dm cubed. Um, and if we rearrange that, um, we can rearrange that to produce this. So we can do H plus squared 
will equal, and it's 1.15 times by 10 to the minus 5, multiplied by 0 0.01. And we should get a value, a h plus squared value. Um, we should get a h plus squared value of naught of three point no of one point one five times by ten to the minus seven times by ten to the minus seven and that's our concentration of h plus squared. Now this is um, obviously a problem because we have h plus squared. We need to just work out what h plus is. So what we have to do is we have to take the square root of that side there, and when we take the square root of that, that obviously square roots this side. So by taking the square root of that value, we can work out the concentration of H plus. So the concentration of H plus is 3.39 times by 10 to the minus 4. Uh, and that's moles per dm cubed. So that's our concentration of H plus worked out. Now, because we've got this, we can actually use this to work out our pH by just substituting it into our equation over here. So our pH uh, would equal the minus log of 3.39 times by 10 to the minus 4. Uh, and then if we put that in, we should get a pH value um, of 3.48. And that is what we would expect. And um, because this is a weak acid, and um, we wouldn't expect a pH much and um, that much lower than that. Um, normally strong acids are about less than one or about the one area. And uh, weak acids would be around about the two to three area for our weak acid. So 3.48 does seem a sensible answer. Um, and it is um, useful just to check your answer. And um, if you get a number that's bigger than seven, you've obviously done something wrong in your calculation. Um, and you need to go back and just double check your numbers. Uh, but it is really good that you're able to spot if that answer is sensible and not just accept it as just any old number. So this is how we work out the pH of a weak acid. And you can see, just in summary, the first thing you need to do is work out your Ka expression, uh, take into account the assumption, which is H plus squared, um, rearrange it, square root your answer, put your answer of H plus into your pH equation, and there's a number there. Um, it's really, really straightforward. Just make sure that you take into account that assumption and you understand why we have that assumption as well. Um, they might ask it in the exam, but um, that's it. I hope that helps. Bye.